Hey friends, this is Derek Webb coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, where I live and uh, where I work. And uh, I'm here to um, talk to you about something really important. Uh, I want to start by thanking the American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation and specifically their Smoke Free Music Cities project, which I think is really important. I'm going to tell you why in a, in a moment, um, but I want to thank them for making this video possible. I want to um, say a few words about the important work they're doing, but I'm going to start us off with a song. This was uh, the title track of a record, uh, off a record called Mockingbird, and I hope you enjoy. Here it goes. <laughs> to you and there are times that I believe I'm satisfied like an intimate connection despite this bad reception with you Um, I'm super grateful to get to uh, hang with you for a few minutes and to talk to you about the important work um, that I think that the American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation um, is doing, specifically, again, the, the Smoke Free Music Cities Project. Um, I've made a living as a blue-collar artist and musician for 20 years uh, or so, and I've played in all kinds of places over the years. I've played in churches and bars and houses and backyards and you name it. Um, but the thing that I think people forget sometimes is that 
um, you know, the, the places that you might go for fun or for a night out, um, restaurants and clubs and bars and places like that, um, that's, our, that's my workplace. That's our workplace. Um, and uh, there are shockingly a lot of cities that don't yet um, have restrictions around people uh, smoking inside of places like that. And the hard thing for a musician, um, I can tell you that when I've had to sing in smoky bars, I've had nights where I couldn't even finish the show, um, where the smoke, uh, it, it's so, um, I'm, I'm so sensitive to it that it makes where I can't sing. I've got to cut shows short. Um, and sometimes, I mean, I, I will uh, sing a show in a, in a venue like that and then um, the next day I wake up and feel like I've got strep throat and I've had to cut two or short even, just occasionally, because specifically of smoke. And not only is obviously uh, first or secondhand smoke when you've got people in the room um, problematic, especially when you consider that that's my office, yeah, that's where I go to work, um, and I have to be there to do that job. But um, something that uh, I learned actually from the foundation that I wasn't aware of is not just secondhand smoke. Um, secondhand smoke is awful. It, for every smoker, for every, uh, for every 52 smokers, uh, secondhand smoke kills one non-smoker every year. It's a million people um, worldwide every year die from secondhand smoke. Um, but not only that is third-hand smoke, which is the invisible, the particles that get all over and in everything and on microphones and on the stages and um, the cables that you're touching and all this, just everywhere. Um, can be really toxic and can really be harmful. Um, um, and it can linger long after the smoking's over. So even on nights where I have, uh, they'll, they'll do a non-smoking show for me, which I'll always ask for, um, the fact that there's so much smoke in the room is still really harmful. Um, and so I really stand behind uh, this movement and this, uh, the Smoke Free Music Cities project. Um, I'm grateful to get to talk to you about it. Um, I'm grateful to... Uh, to get to play you a few songs um, and uh, grab your attention and make you aware of this really important thing because it's not only for me, but it's also for you. Uh, for when you go out to see music uh, in, in, uh, in venues, you should have the right uh, to do that without um, harming yourself, without taking in things that are gonna harm you, even when you can't see them, even if there's not smoking going on that night. And so for me, um, here in Tennessee where I live, um, if, you're, uh, if they set um, certain restrictions on only people 21 and up coming in, they can still have smoking inside of a lot of uh, restaurants and bar or bars. Um, and that's where we work. That's where we play. And so um, it's not easy. And um, so I think this is really important work. And I think both for people who are going out to see concerts and also people like me who are going out to perform concerts, um, this is really important work. Um, and uh, so I stand behind them. I stand behind this work. And... Um, and uh, so I'm grateful, again, to be able to speak about it. Uh, I'm grateful to, to play you a few songs. Here's a, here's one that uh, is on uh, a new record of mine. That's a record is called Targets. Um, and this is a love song and uh, I wrote for my wife. Uh, it's called The Safest Place. Stakes in the wake of the look you gave me. I'm packing my things on my way to the wrong side of town. And we're risking one kiss and the words that could tangle heartstrings. And we tremble at the sound. We're caught by Transfixed by your eyes, they eclipse every ounce of light Till the world disappears and we swore we could see the future And we tremble at the sight Oh, it's my favorite face It's the safest place Putting up neon lights 
above our heads When I whisper your name like a mantra that just might say Once in a lifetime And by God He could be right Cause what was dead Suddenly sent out a lifeline And you came back to me tonight Oh, oh it's my Thank you guys so much again for letting me uh, come and do this uh, to play just a few here songs uh, for you, and I, I really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate again uh, getting to be part of um, the amplifying of this message um, that that both audiences and artists alike have the right to be able to work, to go to work, to go and enjoy entertainment and music and concerts in venues without having to put themselves. Uh, at risk um, and then not having to deal with um, secondhand, thirdhand smoke um, and the tremendous impacts that it has on your body, um, toxic impacts. And uh, again, I can just tell you from my own personal experience, while I have many friends who smoke and I love them um, and they have the right to do that, um, that artists and audiences also have the right in some spaces, indoors, to be able to be free of uh, smoke, secondhand, thirdhand smoke, uh, and to be able to work and to enjoy being together and enjoy music. Um, that's a, a right we should have, and that's why I, I applaud and support the work that these good folks are doing, uh, the American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation, the Smoke Free Music Cities Project, um, going um, uh, through music venues across the country, city by city, state by state, um, working for a 100% smoke-free environment for everyone to be able to come and both perform and enjoy music. I am down with that. Um, and so thank you so much again for letting me play a few songs for you. I'm going to play just one more. And this was a, a song, uh, one more song off the, that record, um, uh, the Mockingbird record, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you. I hope to see you um, somewhere out at a smoke-free music venue. Let's all imagine that future and let's work for it. Uh, let's, I'll meet you there. Um, and thank you so much again. Here's a song that's called Love is Not Against the Law. Oh, politics or love Can make you blind or make you see Make you a slave or make you free
it's giving them your life the ones you hate the most it's giving them your gown when they've taken your clothes it's learning to admit Oh, wait.